Hey everybody, so today I'm reviewing Within the Shadows by Brandon Massey. Now I've already returned the audiobook to the library, but I have my notes here that I took. And I, I said to myself the other day, you know what, I'm going to start using more notes in my video instead of trying to wing everything off the top of my head because I can never remember everything I want to say. And even taking notes, I still don't remember everything I want to say, but that's all right, we're going on anyhow. So this book um, was written by an African-American author, and it is science fiction horror. Now, I found this author just by browsing the shelves. I looked at the cover of one of his books and said, ooh, that looks like a black chick on the cover, and sure enough, it was. And so I grabbed two books by the author, Within the Shadows, and then the other one is in the car, and I don't know what that one is. I haven't listened to it yet. But I... I saw that it was a thriller horror suspense thing and I said, let me just check them out and see what it's about. And I'm glad I did because I really did enjoy this book. So again, it's science fiction. Horror is not a YA book, in my opinion. Um, it is about an author named Andrew Wilson and he has a Mark Justice series and writing this series has, you know, made him pretty well off and he's kind of known by different people. Uh, he has a best friend named Carmen and a best friend named Eric and his father Raymond is also in the story and plays a big role in the story. Now let me tell you what freaked me out. When I put the the CD in the in the player in the car, it says something like it was May 15th and I went, oh today's May 15th. It said it was, you know, dark and cloudy and I said, oh it is dark and cloudy. And then it goes on to say, and then there's an accident that changes the character's life forever, whatever. I'm like, oh, Lord, let me get home because, you know, let's just let that be where the similarities in. Um, but anyway, I know I'm rambling. Okay, so the story is about this author, again, Drew, Andrew or Drew, and Carmen and Eric and his dad, his relationships with them. And also his relationship with a woman named Mika. So Andrew and Carmen have that should we or should we not type of relationship. Are they going to stay friends or become lovers? Raymond, his dad, the two of them have a strained relationship because Raymond wasn't always there for Andrew when he was growing up. And then Eric is his very best friend and their friendship will ultimately face the test of loyalty in the book. Um, but Mika, getting back to her, he meets her. She's the most beautiful thing he's ever seen. And they kind of rush into things. But then Andrew decides, you know, I want to take things kind of slow. But Mika ain't having it. And his consequences of getting, the consequences of getting involved with her too soon may be detrimental to himself and everyone around him. So the book does delve into the whole father-son relationship thing. I really like the way he wrote the story between Andrew and his dad, Raymond. The whole friends and lovers question. You know, when, when you're in a platonic relationship with someone, do you risk ending your friendship to maybe have a relationship with that person? And then your friendship with someone who is just your, you know, your very best friend. Will they be there for you in the ultimate time of need or will they turn against you? Just so many different themes in this book that I enjoyed. Also, magical realism. So if you're not interested in magical realism, this may not be, be the book for you because there are ghosts, otherworldly spirits, and supernatural experiences in the book. Um, it was well written. The characters were very good and everybody played their role to the hilt in this story the way he wrote it. Um, there's a slow build to the story in the beginning. It's like it, it takes you somewhere, then it slows down, but then it, you know, it picks back up. By the end, you're flying. You're flying through the book because it's moving so quickly. Um, it is a contemporary novel also. There are lots of references to text and email and computers and technology and the availability of it played a big role uh, in this book, especially in the beginning. 
So, I, again, I really enjoyed this book by Brandon Massey, African-American sci-fi author. I do, like I said, have another one of his books in the car, but I didn't want to get off the burnout like I did with Mary Monroe a couple of weeks ago where I was doing Mary Monroe back to back and I said, okay, I need to take a break and, and move in another direction. So I have not listened to the other book yet, but I will hopefully very soon. So check out Brandon Massey and his books. He is on Goodreads. See if you're interested in anything else he's written um, besides this book. But I, I'm going to gather that most of them probably have magical realism since he is a sci-fi author. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out some of my other videos here on the channel. Thank you for stopping by. Hello to all my new subscribers. I appreciate your being here. And see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.